Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, first up, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to the Relic 1974 who passed along this badge that you see in front of you, Certified Truth Seeker, because that's really what it's all about. Now, in the last few days, I've really pissed off a lot of people um, because of the uh, reporting Terrell 03 to the feds, but what people aren't seeing is that there's two sides to that. It's not a an attack on Terrell, um, and anyway, I won't get into that too much, but the limit was crossed, the line was crossed uh, when he started giving medical advice and encouraging people to drink borax. Okay, so this has been bothering me that it would go that far, and in some of the rebuttals I got is that uh, if people are stupid enough to do that, that's their own fault, and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, the the families uh, of the victims of Harold Camping and other cultists would, would disagree with you. When we learn, earn a level of trust, we don't do the research. We trust the people that we've been listening to, and we just do it. That's a natural human condition. Um, anyway, I wanted to take the time to refer a couple links and give a little bit of information, because I've gotten reports that now five or six people have been taking this borax and they're now sick and I wanted to explain what it is actually used for how it's used and give you the links uh, so that you can get this information now I have not been able to find any statistics on detoxing from nanobots okay but I can read from this post in naturalnews.com that you'll be linked to below that at v very specific levels, uh, boron or borax, if need be, can be used as a fluoride detox. I'm going to read from the post here. Borax should be taken in very small quantities in pure water, as little as one thirty second to one quarter of a teaspoon in one liter of water consumed in small quantities throughout the day has been found safe and effective okay for that but this is the problem it's a detox it is not just going to pull one thing out of your body people are going to get sick you need to replenish your body with all sorts of uh, vitamin C uh, iodine lecithin magnesium it's going to pull a lot of nutrients out of your body's people and you're going to get sick. That's for healthy people. If you have a pre-existing condition, that's going to be multiplied. There is a danger here. Okay, We can't recommend things uh, that are toxic and not give a full definition of how they're used and how to protect yourself. That's the first issue. Um, okay, Now I've getting reports that five or six people have gotten sick because of this. So this is why I want to put this information out. And this is the crazy thing. Although that can work, the borax can work uh, in specific situations for fluoride detox, it's not necessary. Okay. Um, <laughs> you can simply, basically, uh, build a salad. And now I'm going to list some things in this post that say uh, that will uh, help you with fluoride removal apple pectin. Uh, zeolite minerals, turmeric, cayenne, parsley, chlorella, and slurantro. Okay, so you see, why would anybody recommend you drink soap if you could simply have a salad a day? Okay, there is a danger. And now quickly, I want to go to the symptoms uh, of borax poisoning so that if anybody has tried this um, they'll know what the symptoms are and please uh, you know get off it I'll link you to both of these posts below so you can read I'm going to encourage you read share this information there are people now maybe you think they should do their own research and maybe you think that anyone that listens to anyone else is stupid but the point of the matter is when you use fear and psychological manipulation, some people get deceived. We all get deceived about some things at some times. Okay, so anyway, symptoms. 
Most of the common symptoms of borax poisoning or side effects of ingesting borax include abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, headache, convulsions, vomiting, and weakness. Other symptoms may include blisters, fever, low blood pressure, and twitching of facial muscles, arms, hands, legs, and feet. If you had, have ingested borax, seek immediate medical attention. In order to get the most effective treatment, it is important to determine the difference between whether the exposure to borax was acute or chronic. If the borax has been ingested over a longer period of time in smaller amounts, that's chronic exposure. The level of toxicity is more likely to be higher than that of a one-time ingestion, which is called acute exposure. Therefore, a medical provider may suggest a different route to take in order. Um, and now what to expect if you are poisoned by borax. Once you've arrived at the emergency room, your vitals will be taken. Healthcare provider will record your temperature, blood pressure, breathing rate, and pulse. Treatment is dependent upon the individual symptoms, but in general the patient may receive dialysis, IV fluids, or a gastric lavage. This is a tube that is placed in your mouth and through the stomach to wash out the stomach. Activated charcoal is used for overdosing, but it is important to know that activated charcoal does not absorb borax. So the links to this will be below. People, be cautious. And for those of you that got pissed off at what I did, look a little deeper. On one level, we have people that are getting sick, um, okay, with the information that they were provided by Terrell 03, and that's after he feared them into a position um, that is just, just psychotic, okay? He wants them to believe that uh, computer chips are forming in their stomach and that they need to drink borax to get rid of these and that harp can turn them off at any time. Okay, this, this guy is a madman. So if you're mad at me for reporting someone like him, okay, well then, <laughs> bah! I, I don't care. Unsubscribe, that's fine. You, you affect me in no way. You're all an avatar until I meet you in person. So that's how i got to handle it. The second thing is this man has been running around for over a year talking about killing our military in certain situations. Okay, the feds should have done something about him before now. Me reporting him reports them as well for not doing what they said they would do. Now maybe some of you, because of the fluoride, can't think on a level that I do. But that video proved that they have been notified. And if they don't take action against somebody that's scamming people and putting them in medical danger, then they're not doing their job. And we have more power to eliminate them. Isn't that what you all wanted? Isn't that what we should be doing? Okay, think a little fucking deeper. Okay, my kids can think deeper than most of you that put negative comments on those videos. I'm going to tell you that right now. You better check yourself. You don't have to agree with me, but I have a plan. It's for the good of innocent people. And if you can't believe that, well, then you're better off to unsubscribe. Anyway, for everybody else, the links to these two posts I referred to will be below. I strongly recommend naturalnews.com. They have a great database. You can search anything before you try anything look it up there. The home remedies, I love them. I wish we'd get back to them. Okay, so I'm not discouraging home remedies. But I'm just saying, you under these circumstances, sucking down a bunch of borax while you're uneducated about what else you have to do. You don't just drink borax, okay, because you're going to strip your body of nutrients. You're going to get sick. You might have a heart attack, end up in the hospital, uh, excessive dehydration. Come on. Wake the hell up, people. You really think I'm here to support uh, evil and uh, injustice? No, come on. Wake the fuck up.